This product is dermatological. Why is that word about to beat my ass? Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. What's up, it's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, sis. I hope that you'll stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost. And today, we are back with something that you all really love on my channel. Y'all love these foundation reviews for me. Like, when I look at my analytics, the videos that do very well on my channel are always, like, foundation reviews so i'm glad that y'all love drugstore foundations just as much as i love them today we're going to be reviewing the l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum i am reading the bottle because i don't want to screw the name up but i've been seeing this commercial literally everywhere i saw this foundation in walmart before i actually started seeing the commercial and that's what made me decide to just go ahead and pick it up and you know just see what it was hitting for and i'm glad that i did because the foundation looks really good on my skin this is going to be a first impressions slash wear test i will be updating you guys after thanksgiving just to let you guys know how i feel about the product how it held up on my skin throughout the day i'm gonna try to vlog if i remember on my phone and insert those clips in this video so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing how this foundation works out for me please keep watching this is going to be a review as i told you guys before i'm going to go ahead and jump into it it's actually thanksgiving day i'm supposed to be at family dinner in 10 minutes so my face has already been prepped and moisturized i'm literally just looking for my primer got it so my skin is combination oily i am going to make sure that i just mainly just put this primer in the areas where i tend to get oily the most not really too concerned about my forehead just more so around the mouth and the corners of my nose and everywhere else i can just put my other primer Also, I'll be doing this. Can we just have a moment for my skin? Like, my skin looks so good and so healthy and so radiant. Ever since I've been in school and just learning more about my skin and what products I should be using to help treat my skin, we've been on the up and up. The shade that I got in the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum is the shade 8 through 10 Deep. Um... I'm not sure how this foundation is supposed to work. I literally just saw it in the store not too long ago and I was like, let me, let me try it out. Please excuse my nails, they look a hot mess. So it does have the liquid drop applicator. You guys know I recently just tried out the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Drop one thing of foundation. It's supposed to be a tinted serum. It kind of has this like, mm. Yeah, this might be too much it has like this sparkly stuff in it i don't know y'all i don't know how i feel about this we're gonna go ahead and apply it to the skin anyways for this to be a tinted serum it definitely has a lot of coverage to it so that's good i love the fact that it's blending right into my skin it doesn't feel heavy at all it's damn near a perfect match. I was a little nervous because there were two shades that I was kind of like torn between while I was in the store. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to go with this one or the shade that's like a little bit deeper than this. Okay, so I can definitely say that this is probably something like on a day where I don't really want to do too much. I can wear this because I can still see my imperfections through it, which I'm not mad at because y'all know I'm not really a full on full coverage girl like that anymore. Like I actually like um, a less intense foundation to allow my skin to shine through, especially now that I have been working so hard to correct my skin. So I'm only gonna do one layer of foundation. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, right out the gate, I'ma just let y'all know. If y'all are coverage girls, this is not gonna be the one for you. She's just, she's not giving coverage. I can still see a lot of my imperfections through this foundation. And like I said, I'm okay with that before those of you who are actually looking for a foundation that will truly cover the skin, um, you probably can layer it up. Again, I'm just gonna be around family. I don't really care how they see me. Um, so I'm just giving bare minimum. But I wanted to wear this because I knew that like I would obviously have a full day because I am going to be spending time with family. I'm going to be shooting content. It'll give the foundation time to actually sit on my skin. So I wanted to truly test it out so that I can let my oily combination girls know whether or not this is a foundation for us or not. And if you are new to my channel, the way that I do my reviews, um, obviously the foundation that I wear all the time works for me. So I literally just use all the same products that I was using before on my face. So like my concealers, my powders, my setting sprays, all of that good stuff. And if the foundation works well or sits well throughout the day, then it is a foundation I can keep in my um collection if not this shit goes back to the store really is that simple There's no point in hoarding foundation that i know i'm not gonna use i'm gonna go ahead and set with my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deep and that's just gonna blend that contour and that highlight together I don't really like to go over necessarily where I highlighted at because I'm going to use another powder for it. So whatever is left over is what I use to pat over my eyes. I like to take Dark Tan, which is another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and calm down my highlight just in case the highlight was doing too much. And like I said, I'm also taking pictures today, so I need the skin to give what it's gonna give i'm making good time it's 136. i'm gonna go ahead throw on my clothes and then i'll be back to give my outro for you guys and we will come back later on tonight and we'll discuss how i feel about the foundation so so this is it for the final look the foundation is looking really good on my skin it's looking very luminous very skin like um, I still don't feel it on my skin at all, which is a great thing. I am going to take my RCMA setting powder with me because like I said, I am going to be taking pictures um, at my mom's house. But I also want to make sure that, you know, my nose don't get to acting crazy. Once the night is over and I'm back home for the night, I will come back and talk to you guys on camera about how I truly feel about the foundation. Obviously talk to you guys about how well or how not well it photographs so yeah um that is it thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you all enjoyed this video again the last that you guys will hear of me will probably be me just closing the video out and give you guys my final thoughts but it's thanksgiving your girl about to go get her a plate so if i don't pop back in and it's something very quick and low quality like me just coming to y'all you know on my phone i want to let you guys know that i love you guys so much i am thankful and i'm grateful for you guys i appreciate all of the growth the love and just genuine support of my channel i hope that you all have a happy and safe holiday and i will see you all in my next video so your girl is finally back home i had an amazing thanksgiving with my family um now we come back on here drop my lid let me pop this on real quick as y'all can tell i clearly been eating good too all right now i feel complete anyway now it's time to just talk about how i feel about this baby if you guys were not paying attention or if y'all skipped to just see my final thoughts on it i understand 
So I'm just gonna repeat again. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And I got this in the shade eight to 10 deep. And I mean, without no touch-ups, this is what it's hitting on. You guys know I did use my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer in the areas where I typically do get the oiliest at. And this amount of oil is typical for me. Um, I can see the smile line right here where the foundation looked like it is fading a little bit. But honestly, if I wanted to go back out and take some pictures, literally this is my um, RCMA No Color Powder. I could literally just dip here, tap the side of my nose, tap the tip of my nose, pretty much wherever I'm oily at. Calm it down and then we're back as good as new. So, I don't know, cause y'all know how I feel about the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Y'all know that was my go-to grow. So I'm super excited about this hyaluronic foundation. Like I said, it doesn't really um, feel heavy at all on the skin, but also I didn't really do but one layer. For my girls who like a more fuller coverage, maybe you guys can definitely do more than one drop of foundation to try and even out the complexion and make it a little more full so that way you don't see any imperfections. Like I said earlier, me personally, I don't really care about being able to see imperfections because I mean, makeup is gonna look like makeup because it's makeup, but I still like to be able to see my skin through the actual product. So. This product, I did purchase it at Walmart. It does retail for $14.97. Of course, you can get it at Ulta. I'm not sure what it range, what it range, what it runs at Ulta because y'all know Ulta is typically a little bit pricier. So if it's $14 at um, Walmart, if you get it from maybe like Ulta or Target, it might be like $15, $16. I don't know. I'll have a link down below in the description box for you guys to be able to directly purchase it. Of course, Anytime you guys see a link down below my description box, it is an affiliate link. So I do receive a small, and I do mean a very small commission off of any purchases that you guys make. It helps the channel. It helps support the channel for me to be able to buy these products that you guys absolutely love for me to review. I didn't mention it in the beginning of the video, so I want to just do a quick little um, info about the product quickly before I get out of here. Introducing True Matte Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, the first tinted serum with 1% hyaluronic acid. Naturally found in skin, hyaluronic acid helps enhance the skin's ability to retain moisture with each use. This is all in one tinted serum, instantly brightens, even as it makes the skin feel hydrated. Over time, skin will look and feel smoother. This product is dermatological. Why is that word about to beat my ass? This product is dermatologically, ooh, that's a tongue twister. This product is dermatologically, dermatologically tested for safety, paraben-free, fragrance-free, non-comedogenic, and suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin. All 10 nude radiant shades, which blend to match a variety of skin tones. Find your true match today, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you like a dewy foundation, this is definitely a good alternative. Um, this is, it's only 10 shades. So I would probably compare this to like a MAC Match Master, where you know, like they don't have that many shades within the product line but the shade does adjust to your complexion and obviously you can use like concealers or powders or you know um i did a video on it the color adjusters these things here the um foundation mix and pigment if you need to adjust the color of the foundation but this 8 to 10 deep fit me perfectly. I used my regular old Morphe Fluidity Concealer and everything just blend right on in. So yeah, all the products that I used to achieve this look, including the foundation that I reviewed today will be listed down below in the description box. If you guys have any questions, if you guys would like an updated review or something along that line, definitely let me know and I can make sure I try to get that film for you guys because 
this is my first time trying it and of course i don't really have any issue with it so i'll definitely be willing to try the foundation again or just to wear it and use it to make sure that i truly do like it and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and take this makeup off my face because girl i'm ready to get in the shower i'm ready to make me some popcorn I'm ready to pour me a glass of wine i'm ready to just watch movies and just chill out today has been super busy i want to get some editing done for you all so yeah again thank you all so much for watching i love you guys so much i appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving to my channel all the sharing the comments i love talking to you guys so yeah, thank you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.